My name is Billy Skorepsky. I'm an associate professor at the University of Kansas. Uh, and I study item response theory and Bayesian statistics. And so I'm a psychometrician. Uh, it means I study the development of instruments, the maintenance of their score scales, and the evaluation of their properties. Um, and the fact that I do Bayesian statistics is not necessarily relevant to the IRT class, but it's a part of what we discuss when we uh, talk about how to do IRT is like how we estimate the parameters from those models. I teach uh, item response theory, uh, which is a, a way of scaling tests, creating score scales for tests, where we have uh, item responses where the items are test questions that people have answered. Um, and the data that we get from those kinds of test questions are uh, discrete. They're, they're not continuous variables. So when you have uh, people who have answered yes or no to different questions, or how much you agree to a certain question, or if it's a, um, uh, an educational assessment, it might be whether or not people get the questions right or wrong. Um, those kinds of data lead us to different kinds of models for scaling the assessment. The goals and the objectives for the class are to get people familiar with what IRT is, but then pretty quickly to be able to run IRT analyses, which means to analyze assessment data, um, create scales for those assessments, and understand the properties that those assessments have. Um, so the first day of the class, which is a week-long class, we are really talking about what is IRT and what do the models look like. Um, and by day two, we are running software, we're doing analyses, and students who have their own um, assessment data have opportunities to use IRT on their own data. So I have many uh, examples that I use of um, artificial and real data sets that we can use to demonstrate various things, um, but every student that comes with their own data have opportunities to analyze their own data. The, the format of the class is a combination of uh, lectures and uh, applied data analysis. Um, so I have several blocks of PowerPoint slides that I'll use for teaching concepts, um, but then it's also very interactive because I'll usually have somewhere around um, five to ten students in the, in the room, so there's a lot of opportunity to discuss concepts. Um, after we deal with a block of notes, we then look at software for how to do the analysis. So there's a, a sort of a lab component to it that follows that, although it all takes place in the same room. Um, so everyone brings their computer. We use uh, software which is free and open source, so everyone has an opportunity to use it. Um, and then we uh, start running those analyses. And then we'll kind of go back and forth in between lecture and lab formats. Um, every day of class, the last two hours of class, um, so they run from nine to five, um, the last two hours of every day of class is Q&A time. So it's either me consulting with individual students about their particular data problems, uh, or it's answering general questions about what we've been discussing, or frankly, if our lecture and discussion time have run long, it, it gives us a little bit of spillover time. So there's been a combination of those things, but I've been really happy that uh, both times I've taught the class so far, every student has had opportunities that by the end of the day they've had their specific questions answered and they've been able to analyze their specific data sets. You know, the class isn't for credit, so there are not, there are not prerequisites per se for the class, but there's an expectation that students have a familiarity with um, basic linear statistical models. So I would expect that a student that has come here has a general idea of what it means to do assessment. Um, simply, you know, the idea of surveys or, or instruments for collecting data, but that they've also experienced things like analysis of variance and linear regression. Um, they don't have to have a lot of background in psychometrics, but if they know some basics of reliability and validity that are part of perhaps classical test theory or they have had some exposure to factor analysis, that can benefit them. But at a basic level, I would have expected them to know something about ANOVA and regression. I'd say that, generally speaking, the participants are social scientists, you know, in, in the largest sense. So uh, this week there were students from schools of education um, and social work and psychology, um, some who may be working in business um, and, and various things like that. But uh, areas where people are collecting data, where they're, they're trying to do is make inferences about people. You know, so they have an idea of a construct in their mind, and um, that construct is being, in, you know, is influencing them to answer questions in different ways, and they want to try to come up with scales for that. Um, mostly, they are applied researchers in social sciences. Uh, a lot of them may be from schools of education, but um, political science, uh, really uh, anthropology, sociology, or really any kind of area like that where we might be collecting data where we're trying to make uh, assessment kind of inferences, uh, this would be an appropriate class.